back to my channel. I am Ashley, and in today's video, stop looking at me. Shoot! For real, babe, leave me alone. Hi, everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what I purchased for my daycare kiddos. So, I did a little bit of shopping. I did get some things from Target, Dollar Spot. I got some things from the Dollar Tree and I got some things from Amazon and one thing from Ross and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys in today's video. So it's more Valentine, well not more, but a lot of it is Valentine things. I'm going to show you guys what I got for my kids for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm a little bit upset because I know that some of my families, like my current parents, watch my videos. So they're going to already get like a sneak peek at what I got their kids, but I want to share it with you guys. I got is from the Target dollar spot and I got mailboxes so they were a dollar each and I got different colors I'll show you the ones that I got but I am going to be filling them up with goodies and Lucas's um, Valentine's Day cards like this is gonna be from Lucas slash me to all of the students but I'm also thinking of putting the other Valentine's that the kids get in here so that they can have everything in their little mailbox so this is functional, this is functional. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna see if I can customize it with each child's name on the outside and then they can go ahead and have their little mailbox. So another reason why I got the mailbox was because I feel like this isn't as wasteful as a bag. I normally do bags all of the years that I've done Valentine's, I've usually done like a little goodie bag, but I feel like they throw it out and I feel like this, after all of the goodies are gone and after it's empty, they can still use this like for pretend play. If the moms have daughters, they can put like their hair ties in it or the boys can use this to play something else. Like they're gonna love it. And then if you guys see that little mailbox on the house, they love it. So I know that they're really gonna enjoy their little mailboxes. I think that they're really cute and um, they were only a dollar each. So I got this blue one. I got a red one with pink. Well, not A1, I had like, I got a few of them, but I'm just showing you guys the colors that they had. Then I got this purple one that has the pink little handle. They're all the same, just the colors are different. And then the last color that I got is this white and red one, which is really cute as well. So I feel like I'm missing things. Oh, another thing that I got from the Target dollar spot is this jar right here. So it is this glass jar. It says sweetie, no, it says sweets, 25 cents. And I think it is so freaking cute. So I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day photo shoot for my daycare kids and I plan on using this as a prop. I plan on filling it up with candy and then putting it on top of a white basket. If you guys watched my circle time basket, like what's in my circle time bin, I'm going to use that basket, put this on top, fill it up with treats, fill it up with candy to make it look really cute. And this is basically for the photo shoot, but I can get so much use out of this regardless. Not just for Valentine's Day, I always have candy in my house. So I can like fill this up with candy and just keep it in my kitchen. I like it. I think it's cute. And this I believe was $3. It was either three or five. I know it wasn't $1. So I also got that. The next thing that I'm going to go over is this pink sheet that you guys probably saw over there. Now, this is what I plan on using as my backdrop for the Valentine's Day photo shoot. I went to Ross and I looked at all of their bedding and had this vision of having like a milkshakey, pinky color backdrop. And I got this and I think it is so pretty. Uh, I'll put it back here so you can kind of see the color a little bit better. But it is this nice, pretty baby pink. Now, I love it. I think it's really pretty. I have a, not a tripod. It's like a backdrop stand where I'm gonna hang this, clip it, I'll iron it obviously to make it look nice and then put the props in. It's gonna look so cute. I hope that the vision that I have in mind comes to life, but this is gonna be used as a backdrop. I did get a king size. No, I got a queen size, but I normally get queen or king because you really want to be able to stretch it and you want to have a lot of area covered versus getting a small one. And then you're gonna to have to have the kids stay in one specific spot, so I think bigger is better. And I got this pink one, and again, I don't know if you guys can see the color, but it's so freaking pretty. So that is the backdrop, and it's gonna be for the boys and the girls, not just the girls, because I know it's pink, but it's gonna be really cute. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the Dollar Tree. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. I plan on taking this and leaning it against the basket that I have um, for the little candy thing. Have this leaned up against the basket and I think it's really cute. It says happy Valentine's Day and this is just going to be used as a prop. I also purchased another Valentine's Day wreath 
type of thing. It's already hung on my front door, so I'm not gonna show you guys it, but it's on my front door. It's just like a Valentine's Day wreath, and I did get it from Dollar Tree. Then I also got these rose petals. Again, I do have a vision, and I plan on scattering them on the floor, and then I'm gonna see if I could tape a couple of them to the backdrop so it looks like there's rose petals behind them and on the floor. It's gonna be so cute. This is a 300 piece decorative rose petal set and it was only a dollar. So I got that as well. And then the next thing, it was kind of like an impulse thing, but this bag is so freaking cute. I had to get it from the dollar store. It was only a dollar. Like I really don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I really wanted it because it's really cute. And I don't know, maybe if I go to Sam's Club or maybe if I go somewhere where I don't wanna use their grocery bags, I'll use this. But I love it and I got it and they had a few other styles, but this was the one that I really did like I think it's really cute and it says you drive me crazy. It looks Valentine's Day ish But I feel like I could get away with it any other time of the year So maybe I'll use it for like groceries and stuff like that. We'll see The first thing that I got is this toy right here the bags come with this toy specifically and it is like a counting game so you get the numbers one through ten and obviously the number ten has ten holes and then you get these little red sticks and the children are supposed to count as they put the sticks in so they would be like one two three four and you get the idea you go all the way to ten and the kids love this lucas absolutely loved this he loves anything fine motor and i know that a lot of things that i did buy were fine motor but he absolutely loves it so again you get all the numbers from one to ten and then you get the red sticks and it's more like of a counting game the kids love it i love it as well this is an activity that i like to do when i'm sitting with them because i tried giving it to them independently but they just take these things roll them across the table they get all over the floor so this is something that i would do like sitting with them but they absolutely love it and then i like the fact that the bag comes with the actual set so they give you one for the square thing with the number and then you get another bag for the little red sticks that you get so i did get that from amazon and i'll have everything linked down below the next thing that i got is a three in one number puzzle so um you get the numbers on this side you get the shapes on that side and then in the center you get these little sticks i don't know if you guys can see it on my screen you get these little sticks and they go from smallest to largest and the kids are supposed to put them and then you get these little rings and you can stack them so i'll, I'll show it to you like this because if not it's going to be really messy so as you guys can see you get the numbers you get the shapes and then each hole has like a stick and then you get the rings and then you can put it on. I love it because it's everything in one. I have a puzzle that has the numbers, a puzzle that has the shapes. And the fact that I have everything in this one, I actually already removed those other puzzles and I put them in storage and I'm gonna put this one out so that they can have this one. And I like it because two kids can do it at one time. I can have one sitting on this side of the puzzle, the other on this side, one can do the numbers, the other one can do the shapes and then we can swap it around and then they can do the opposite. So I like this puzzle. I do a lot of sit down puzzle activities with the kids and um, I normally do one by one, but I like that one because again, I can do two kids at a time. So the next thing that I got is this little toy right here. I've seen a lot of daycare providers on YouTube um, mention this toy and my kids aren't that interested in it. I don't know if it's because they're older. My youngest from my older kids will be two, and I know that this game is recommended from 18 months plus, so I don't know if they're just too old for it, but then my infants are too young for it. Um, so I got this, and nobody really plays with it. But um, I don't know, I just wanted to mention it to you guys. I did get this, Lucas does like it, but it's just something that once he's done, he's like, okay, I don't want to do it again. But the other stuff that I bought, I feel like he always wants to like repeat. Okay, let's do it again. We're done, let's do it again. But this one is not like that. But I think it's cute. I know that once my infants are of age to play with this, they're gonna love it. It's just, I feel like um, with the age group that I have right now, they're not really interested in that. So the last toy that I got, the kids absolutely love, and it is the letter fishing game. And it says that it's a fine motor skill fishing toy. So. This is what it looks like right here. It comes with these little fishing poles, two specifically, and you are supposed to get the magnet. Ooh, I gotta work on my fine motor. And you get the fish, and it has a letter on it, and I don't go by the letter. I go by the color, so I'll tell my students, like, hey, Rebecca, give me a red fish. She'll give me a red fish, and then she'll give it to me. 
and then I'll tell the next child, okay, Lucas, get me a yellow fish, and then he'll go ahead and he'll get me his fish. So I like this game because again, it is a two player game. It's not like um, only one student can do it at a time. I do two kids, obviously two fishing poles, and they absolutely love this game. It fascinates them. When the magnet hits that stick, it fascinates them. This game, I highly recommend it. They love it. And again, this is something that I do with them just because I can totally see these fish all over the daycare or inside of the pretend cars and they're like riding fish around. Like I keep this for him to do with them. So that was the last thing that I got in this haul. I hope that this video was interesting or helpful in some way, shape or form. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and I will see you guys in my next video.